réussi. Je crois qu'aujourd'hui, tout est prêt pour réussir. Je crois qu'il n'y a pas de raison de faire un concours avec le LEP, mais j'ai bon espoir que ça aille encore plus vite. Donc, bravo à tous. Ayez du courage pour la journée. Elle sera bonne, j'en suis certain. On se reverra toutes les heures. Merci à tous. Thank everybody who took part in this mega effort to make Gilead City up and running since 1984. Now, Lynn Evans, I think you're going to start the process. But I think I should say in, in, in English uh, what I already explained in French. Today, we have a beam already at, uh, at the entrance of the Elite. And in a few minutes, we will uh, remove the, the The, the block, the absorber block that the beam is hitting. And we will take the beam around octant by octant. First, we will take it to the point, to point three. So that's about three kilometers, where we will stop it on a, on a, on a block, on one of the kilometer blocks. We will make any adjustments we need to the orbit. Uh, then we will remove the block. We, we have no absorber at point four but uh, there, is a t there is a TV screen that will see the beam passing through the point four, and we will stop the beam at point five, just before CMS. Then we will probably take a, f a few uh, pulses, because when we strike the absorber block at point five, CMS uh, sees uh, particles, and they will use it to time in the detector. Following that, we will move around uh, to point six, where we will extract the beam onto the beam dump. Uh, this is a 700 meter long tunnel, uh, and at the end there is a TV screen, you should see the beam there. Then we will go around at point seven, we also have uh, 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 collimators, uh, and we will stop it again, correcting the orbit as we go. We will then go around to LECB, and we may stop, stop for a, a, f a few minutes there before finally taking it out and going to Atlas. Again, Atlas will need some time to, when they see events coming from the, uh, uh, from the absorber block, they need some time to time in the detector. Uh, and finally, we will make the full turn. I, I don't know how long it will take. As I said before, uh, for LEP, it took 12 hours. I hope that the LAT will be much faster. What will happen after that will depend on, on uh, the success we get. Uh, if we can make many turns of, of the ring, then uh, we will move on and try to capture the beam with the RF system. Uh, we will also take the other beam going in the opposite direction uh, and do the same thing. Uh, we want to get both beams around the ring as soon as we can to be sure that there are no restrictions of, of aperture. So now I think there will be a few minutes while we, we get ready, uh, five minutes or so, and uh, then we will put the first beam into the LHC. So the okay. countdown begins in about five so wh minutes' time. Where are we with the Lynn Evans, who you just saw kicker. speaking, the project is, leader is it, is it okay? for the LHC project, is All going right. to launch that first proton beam. It's going to go in a clockwise direction. It is not going to go all the way around the 27 kilometers of the LHC, no, not at first. What we're going to see first is a step-by-step -step staged journey, if you like, around the LHC, octant by octant, as Lynn was just explaining to us. Paula, why is it being done in this way? Mainly because uh, we don't want to burn down <laughs> and melt down or damage the components of the LHC. You have to think that this is a first and only prototype, a huge prototype at the frontiers of every possible technology, from superconductivity to cryogenics, the art of making it very cold, to vacuum. All these requirements make the LHC a record-breaking machine in these technologies. Nothing like that exists, and nothing like that exists, especially at this very large scale. And The octants, okay, the machine is made, in, made up in eight parts. It's not, it's not a perfect circle. 
it's, it's made up of straight sections. We can see here a curved session, but it is also made up of straight sections. It contains 9,000 magnets. Almost 2,000 of them are superconductive. The blue components we see here now are the heart of the LHC. They are the main components. They are called dipole superconductive magnets, and they make sure that the proton beam stays on its circular orbit. The protons by themselves would go straight. We want them to circle, and this requires an incredible uh, amount of magnetism. So we have to keep them straight on their orbit, on their circular orbit, with these blue dipole magnets. And they're all hoping that all the kit, look at them monitoring it all there, what do you think is the mood in the nerve center, in the control center, as the seconds tick by to launch? I think they're very excited, also because they know they have been, they are being looked at by the entire world, but mainly because there are pieces, there are octants of the LHC that have never seen beam. They have made tests in the last weekends, but they've only made tests in a few kilometers out of the 27 kilometers. That's also the reason why they're going to stop the beam at each step, to make sure that all the tests to the components say, yes, you can go, go ahead, green light, we are ready to take your beam. We are fully functioning, we are up and running. And the job in the control room is divided up into people who do the injection from the SPS, the previous accelerator.